uh, only been in office now six months, Val Lazanos. Did I get that right? Lovanos. Lazanos. <laughs> well, that's a 50-50 shot. <laughs> Welcome to the program. Thank Mario. you so much. Thank you, and congratulations on your new position. Thank you. CR Nemba, uh, a great organization, and uh, you have um, taken on the responsibility. And what, what, what do you find as your responsibility as a, uh, a president of CR Nemba here in Carabasset Valley? Yeah, so first a few things. Um, I wanted to start off by saying it's Thanksgiving weekend, and none of us would be able to ride at all if it were not for being able to ride on the lands of the Penobscot Indian Nation, uh, the town of Carabasset Valley, Sugarloaf's property, uh, Main Hudson Trail's property, and private landowner property. Um, we were just talking a little bit before we went on the air that you know it's not to the benefit of those landowners, it's right. to our benefit to be able to ride. and. I hope that we're all grateful that uh, we can ride. And I know right now just the gauge is open to riding, mm. but we should be grateful that we can ride the gauge right now. Yeah. Um, and I think in general, the way that I see this role is really trying to bring people together, um, trying to partner with Sugarloaf, partner with the town, partner with Main Hudson Trails, um, to try to really make uh, riding in this area um, better for, for everybody and to become a more inclusive organization. What does gratitude look like out on the trail? Yeah, so, um, you know, yesterday, right now we can just ride the gauge. Uh, so yesterday, you know, we can ride the gauge. Uh, Nordic skiers can only ride the gauge right now. The touring center's not open. Um, so Nordic skier coming up the gauge, if you're on a bike, you can simply pull over. They're going up the hill. They might be skate skiing. They need the whole trail. We just need part of the trail. We can stop very quickly, easily. Just pull over, let them skate ski up, and uh, smile and say hello. Anytime you're out on the trail, winter, summer, whenever, um, especially for us locals or, or those who are here regularly, smiling and saying hi to people and you know, pausing while someone uh, pulls their dog back is always a good, you know, a, a good way to be and a way to, to show that mountain bikers care about the community and, and want to be part of the community. Absolutely. Be gracious and, yeah. and, and appreciate what you have. Smile goes a long way. It sure <laughs> Friendly does. Friendly greeting goes a long way. Yeah, and it doesn't benefit uh, private property owners. It's just something they do because they appreciate, uh, you know, they, they, they allow you to pass on their land because they know how important the sport is. And let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about the sport and s some of the things that you got going on. But uh, Stony Brook seems to be a good topic. Yeah, so a lot of people have been asking about Stony Brook. A lot of people have emailed, um, dropped in uh, our DMs. Um, some notes about Stony Brook have, have asked me about Stony Brook. And, you know, Stony Brook has been a little bit of challenge this summer. We've had over 40 inches of rain, I believe. Um, and it's, it's pretty wet up there. But we have been working up there. Josh and his crew were working the whole fall to make some enhancements on the drainage so that we can um, kind of preserve that trail for, you know, in the future it won't get, uh, you know, bogged down with so much water. And then they've also been expanding that. I think it's two loops right now and they're expanding to make a third loop. So good things are going to come with Stony Brook. Um, things are still happening up there. We haven't forgotten about Stony Brook. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's going to be a seasonal uh, trail situation that probably will not open until July 1st every year. Yeah. Well, Mother Nature. Is, yes. <laughs> and it, it's a challenge for a lot of people, uh, especially the, a lot of this wet weather. But uh, I'd like to think that, well, we need the rain. You know, what are we going to say? <laughs> hey, let's talk about winter biking. Yeah. Uh, tell us uh, about winter biking and grooming and what gratitude looks like. Yeah, so winter biking, um, we should be really grateful. It's a real partnership. So, you know, we have the gauge that we can ride, and mm. of course we share that with walkers, we share that with dog walkers, with snowshoers, with Nordic skiers, and Sugarloaf, Tom Butler, has great, graciously uh, offered to groom the gauge this year for us. So we, we really appreciate that. He's already sent his crew down there once. Um, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then Main Hudson Trails has 50 miles of backcountry trail that they've been uh, grooming, or that they will start, they haven't, started yet. Um, mm -hmm. We don't have enough snow, but right. that they will groom for backcountry riding, Nordic skiing. So that's phenomenal that we can access that. And then all the, uh, what we call single track, but basically the little trails that you see off the gauge, mm -hmm. um, all of that is actually groomed by volunteers from the bike club. So uh, we're very grateful to those volunteers because they put in a lot of hours grooming that and, and making it good for, for us to be able to ride on.